Every artist and every band needs a videographer in 2019. But why? You're free to be more creative. Hold everything with the JVC Video Movie. JVC. Welcome back to The Mixdown, the show where you learn a little something about music's relationship with the internet all through a neat little short film. My name is Dan Purcell, and if you haven't seen the last couple of episodes of The Mixdown, it's safe to say that I have a little bit of an obsession with music and filmmaking, specifically music and filmmaking on the internet. As a music lover and performer working in the film and video industry, I can't help but be excited by the amount of opportunity that's present for musicians and filmmakers to create for and communicate directly with an audience, all as a result of the rise of the internet and social media. So for the last few years, I've been poring over different trends and techniques that creators have been using to more effectively enhance the way they communicate with their audience online. One of the bigger trends I've noticed as of late is celebrities and other notable individuals hiring videographers to create work that serves as an extension of their social media presence. It's so commonplace now for big names like Will Smith, The Rock, Jason Momoa to have entire teams of people creating media that serves as a direct line of communication with their audience. And I think that musicians should be doing the exact same thing. Outside of a manager or lawyer, a videographer should be one of the first people that you should look to start working with. But if you're a musician who's watching this right now, you're probably wondering to yourself, what would be the benefit of somebody else filming my day to day? Today, I want to present a case study of three specific videographers, Dexter Finlay, Mike Holland, and Justin Fleischer. I want to showcase how their respective work with recording artists John Bellion and Logic helped communicate the craft behind their music, as well as the messages that they want to convey to their audiences. The first thing to recognize is that in hiring your own videographer, you essentially have your own in-house video production team. That means anything you want to accomplish video-wise. Video diaries, behind the scenes, music videos, short form media for your Instagram or Twitter accounts. That can all be done with the help of a videographer. A solid example of this can be found in the music video that was produced for Logic's last project, Young Sinatra 4. The video for the song Everybody Dies was directed by Mike Holland and produced by Justin Fleischer. The cinematography, editing, and visual effects were were all done by people who are well connected to the team of Mike and Justin. The important thing to note here is that Logic didn't have to farm out the idea and conceptualization for a music video out to another production company. He had the team of Mike and Justin to rely on to help bring his vision to life. They go into that drum pocket. That's gonna be crazy. Having your own videographer also means that you can capture the day-to-day -day life of being a musician. As I mentioned in my last video with Ariana Grande and Beyonce, it's no secret that people nowadays want to have a person-to-person, -person, human connection with the artists that they love. So you can bet that they would love to know what goes on in the lives of their favorite artists when they're not performing. Also, there's a ton of value that you can provide to aspiring artists by showcasing your process of creation in the studio. As an example, one of the more recent videos that John Bellion has uploaded to his YouTube channel is a behind-the-scenes documentary of the making of his latest single, Stupid Deep, and it was filmed and edited entirely by Dexter Finlay. Dexter was present for the entire recording process of the song, so we get to see everything from the genesis of the lyrics. You can't particularly tell, but I'm fighting tears. They're actually, they're actually streaming down my face here. All the way through to adding vocals on the final track itself. A secondary layer of artistry can be found in the documentary through the use of VHS visual effects, as well as different letterboxing and aspect ratios. If you like a breathy white girl in a powerhouse black man, <laughs> then this is the song for you. We for got you. the <laughs> Asked about the aspect ratios, Dexter replied, Switching aspect ratios represents what's happening in the room. Using one to one, the viewer feels the frustration they're experiencing at the start of the process. The aim is to lock you in. As the track starts to come together, the frame expands to reflect their progression. It's rare to witness the moment a radio hit is born. And I think it's even rarer to capture it on film in such an artful and intentional manner. Through this video, John has given his audience and the artists interested in his craft an incredible gift. He didn't have to bring us into the studio, but his forethought to work with Dexter to capture the creation of Stupid Deep is an incredibly thoughtful and kind move on his part. The specialness of what poured out of me and it did not come from me. It 1000% did not come from me. Last, but certainly not least, Having a videographer means that you not only get to document the artist's process, but also the artist's mindset. What stands out about the work of Justin, Mike, and Dexter is not the amount of work that they've done with John or Logic, but the fact that they take on a fly-on-the-wall perspective with their filmmaking. 
They're playing the role of John and Logic's respective audiences, so they're experiencing the quests of these artists to develop their signature sounds. This allows them to capture genuine moments of musical and emotional discovery. I relate to more than just one sect or one side of humanity or race to be like a black man in a, in a, in a fair skinned body, if that makes any sense. So it's like, wow, it's almost like living two separate lives to the public, not to me, but to, to others. They might view me as different people. Wow, it's crazy. I never really thought about it like that. It's about the kid who's 11 years old right now who hears this. Hopefully I could be a light to shine in somebody that says, yo, he's a creative dude and he does what he wants and he's very good at it because he, he cares about the craft. The visuals that videographers provide can help elevate the auditory medium that the musicians work in and create something that we can all connect with on a much deeper level. That's why every artist needs a videographer in 2019 and beyond. Now, it might be pretty tricky to hire an entire professional video team right off the bat. You might not have that big of a budget and you want to make sure that whomever you're investing in is a long-term investment. Start thinking about the lens with which you want your audience to view the work that you make. And then, from there, you're going to search on Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube for artists who kind of share that vision, who have unique visual style and who are passionate about the work that they make. Similarly, my advice to aspiring videographers is to think about the kind of artist that you might want to work for. Try and start looking for artists that you are very excited about on the come up, operating in genres that you're very excited about. And start thinking about the value that your vision can provide to them. You really want to make sure that you're working for an artist who you hustle to make video after video for. Look to Dexter, Mike, and Justin for inspiration. They've laid some incredible groundwork for music videographers in the audiovisual age of music on the internet. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Mixdown. I hope that indie artists and filmmakers got a little bit of value from the case study that I presented to you all. Feel free to leave a comment if you agree or disagree with this subject matter. Or if you're an aspiring videographer or an artist on the come up looking for a videographer, leave a comment down below letting people know that you're looking. I would love to have this video as a means to facilitate collaboration and connection and community with everybody. That would be awesome. Also, if you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to tweet me or send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram at The Deeper Cell. I would love to build a community of not only artists, but music lovers and appreciators who want to help build something greater than themselves. Thank you so much for watching again, and until the next episode of The Mixdown, I will see you guys very soon.